This is a demonstration of the consolidated time lock companies Harry Dalton patented automatic time lock from about 1905. Harry Dalton had taken out a patent in November of 1904 for a new kind of time lock movement and that is shown here and his innovation was to use off-the-shelf pocket watch movements in place of having individual time lock movements purpose made that is made as only a time lock movement here he's using Elgin pocket watch movements for the uh, individual time lock movements now what we're going to do today is we're going to demonstrate the automatic bolt motor that uh, is in this time lock. So to set the bolt motor, one would wind the spring through this lever here. And that's done by moving this clockwise. And as I do that, you'll note down here, this pin will move. And you see it moving back and forth. And that pin would then be caught by this lever here if these movements were wound. Now right now they're not wound because if they were, I wouldn't be able to do this demonstration because this lever would already be engaged and it'd be impossible for me to do, do the, um, the uh, bolt release. So now that the operator has set the, the uh, bolt motor and under normal circumstances these would all be wound to a particular time for which this would then be set to open then you would obviously then close the door and this of course would be closed too but uh, because uh, this wood is in the way I can't close it all the way and we're looking at this from the inside so on a cannonball safe which is what this was installed on by Eli Norris the doors when they closed would rotate like a big screw and they would rotate closed so that they would shut very tightly and they would rotate clockwise so since we're looking at this from the rear this would be counterclockwise so in the safe frame there was a pin that would engage this lever and so as this would rotate counterclockwise the pin would come into contact with this lever and you see the bolts now are thrown closed so now the door is secure now when the time came for the time locks to wind down to zero this little lever here will disengage this pin and I will simulate that by removing this piece of wood first I'm going to move this bolt over a little bit because it it isn't set perfectly as it would be in the safe and it sometimes jams so we'll set this over here then we remove this as if these time locks have gone to zero and now the spring has unwound and as evidenced by this now returning to its beginning position and the bolts have now retracted and the door can be opened